Hi guys, it's Shimmy. So today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute altered charms um, from puzzle pieces. So these, this is my version. I really love how they turned out. They have little danglies. You can use them as magnets or you can attach them like on a keychain or something like that. But they're super fun and easy to make. I did do these for a live show, but I thought just in case someone didn't want to watch an hour and 15 minute show, I could show you very quickly how to make them. So we'll make a couple together. Um, yes, and they kind of perfected it a little better, so that's always good. <laughs> but I hope you join me for one of my live shows. But these are the puzzle pieces, and all I'm doing to prepare them is you just take some um, sandpaper. This is a sand block that I got from the dollar store. And you're just going to sand them down a little bit. And what that does is it helps the gesso and the paint to adhere a little better. Um, yeah, and it takes off some of that decoration and that kind of plastic coating that um, puzzle pieces have. These are just the cardboard ones. Um, yeah, so they're not the wood ones, but you could absolutely do this on wood and that would work well too. But it's really simple. So you just do that and then you're going to add your gesso. So I'm just going to use some of my homemade DIY gesso here. As you can see, I was playing around a little bit. Okay. You're just going to take it and you just take a brush and you just apply it. And I have water on this brush, so my gesso is not as thick. Right, let me just work that off a bit. Just like that. And you might have to do like two coatings. Um, if you really don't want to be able to see the background at all, but keep in mind you are doing one of paint, so I usually just do one. I don't think two is really necessary unless you really want it covered or if it was a really bold kind of um, pattern. So you're just going to brush it just like that. Awesome. Okay. So then you'll let that dry and then you, and I'm going to go ahead and finish these off, and then you are going to go ahead and paint. And I'm going to paint mine with metallic paints. You could absolutely use regular paint and that would work too, but I want them just to have a little bit of shine, a little bit of something extra. So I'm going to set those aside right under my mat here. Ready? Okay. So once you do that, I'm going to paint this one for you. Um, you paint them. So as I said, I am going to paint close my gesso container here um, with what color do I want to paint in maybe I'll do maybe we'll do this one I think we're going to do this sea aqua and this is not metallic but I just want to show you the difference okay, I'm going to take it in we are going to paint them up just like that and if you kind of want the glossy shine of a metallic paint, um, then you can mix just regular acrylic paint with silver, and um, that will give you kind of a metallic or iridescent kind of finish. That's a good trick. But I am going to add, if I have it, which I thought that I did, I was going to add. You could add glitter glue too, which I was going to add. Here it is. Ready? Just because I want mine to have a little bit of shine. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you're just going to set that aside to dry. Now, if you want to, you could paint the edges too, which is always nice, just to finish it off a little bit. So I just kind of go around and paint the edges. And you know I would probably wait for the top to dry first but I just wanted to kind of show you but this is great you can find really cheap puzzles at a thrift store and yard sales you know here I know we can get one for super super cheap so I'm going to set that aside again and I have some here that I have already painted okay. oops sorry guys I'm sending you on a ride <laughs> okay so these are some that I already painted and what I like to do next is I like to stamp them just to kind of give them a background and a pretty finish. So I just have um, some stays on here, but you can use any kind of waterproof um, ink uh, just in case you decide to put a medium on top. You just want to be careful. And just any type of background stamp is fine. This is just script. And I think I got this in. Let's see. Look, it makes a really pretty background. 
We're going to do the same thing here. And I just like that. I think it looks really elegant. So that's what I'm going to use. But feel free to use whatever you'd like. And just make sure they're all dried. And these I will probably use for magnets for my refrigerator. But um, you don't have to do that. You could use them for so many other fun things. So very cool. Alright, so once you have that, you're just going to kind of go through your embellishments. I have some of these wood butterflies and stars. Um, I have a butterfly that I cut out from like a, a punch that I had, a butterfly punch. Um, I have just some trims and all sorts of stuff. So we're going to begin to create one. So we're going to work with this green one first. We're going to try to do two. I just don't, but you can absolutely use your... Use your imagination for this project, for sure, okay? So you're going to take your piece, and I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more. And I'm just using tacky glue, but you can use glossy accents, whatever you have. Oh, but before we do that, I forgot, we are going, I want to make a dangle for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece, and this is my big bite, and I'm going to make a hole, okay? Just like that. Okay. And this thing goes through metal, everything. As I said in the live show, I got it from, um, where did I get it from? From Joanna's with a 50% off coupon, because Joanna's has lots of 50% off coupons. They're wonderful about that. And you can use multiple coupons with them too, so they're great. So I think it was $20 um, after I used my coupon. And it was a great investment. And that's what I do is I saved up, you know, the $20 um, for a couple months. And then I used it and I got one. So that's the way I roll. Okay, just like that. And then, so this is a feather that I got sent in Happy Mail, which I love. And then this is just a little wood piece that I painted. I got these from eBay. They're a dollar. And they have a bunch of different shapes. So they have hearts and stars and butterflies and all sorts of little shape so that's what I'm going to use but you could just use flowers too and I'll show you or whatever you have really works for this project which is great and then I have um, some little crystals and again I get these from eBay and I'm going to use a few on here so let me kind of go through and see which one I like I think I'm going to do light or dark green that's pretty. Let's do dark green. There. Do I have another dark green? I might have to use light green because I think these are light. Oh, aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay. Very cool. Don't you just love when you're in love with your own projects? <laughs> it's like you have to love your own projects. You do. And it's so fun to experiment and I really appreciate doing those live shows. It gives me ideas and it lets me kind of try out things on camera so you can kind of see me see that I do the same thing that you do. Like sometimes things don't work out the way that I want, you know, but we just do what we can. We do our best. So I'm just going to take a skewer here and I'm going to add my dots of glue where I'm going to put my little rhinestones there. Just like that. And I will start to do this because I know that some people don't have time, you know, to watch necessarily an hour video. And it's, um, I try to make it as like a tutorial if I can, but you know, I get to talk in and so sometimes it's hard to follow the process. So definitely, um, I got these tweezers from the dollar store. I'm so happy, especially for little things like this. It helps a lot. Uh, yeah, so it's fun. For things like this, it helps. So I would be happy to do these for you guys in, re in um, somewhat real time. I mean, that's more real time, of course, but isn't that cute? So that's what we have so far. So we're just going to let that sit for a minute. This will be about a 20 minute video. Um, just because we're going to do our dangle. 
And actually, maybe I'll do that. I'll do the dingle. Because you can kind of gauge the process. I mean, you just add layers and layers of things. It's not that hard to follow. I'm just going to pick these up a little bit so they don't, so I don't lose them because I'm going to be adding more stuff on top. And we can do, let's do this one, okay? And we're going to use um, this pretty butterfly here, which I love. But before that, let's make another, oops, that one already has a little dangly. But we're going to put one, hmm, let's put one for the bottom. That's what we did. Oh, that one was a little harder. Had to apply some pressure for that baby. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Alrighty. So then we are going to again add some of that to it, but I am going to ink this up just so that it doesn't go into the background. And I do have a couple of requests put in that you guys wanted to see, so I did not forget. Sometimes I just have to go get the supplies and I do schedule my videos far in advance, so um, it does take me a while to kind of get room to add it in when I do do it, so just keep that in mind, and if you ever want to see anything, I would be happy to see if I can do that. Um, if I run out of ideas, then I definitely go to, to that little list, okay, just like that. Alrighty, let's put our pretty butterfly on there. and just stick that on and then for this one I'm going to actually add a word because I did that in the other tutorial so I'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to add the word hope and all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of color to it do I have my purple where is my purple where is my purple sorry guys I'm just going to kind of go through here Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to take this, and this is my word, and I'm going to color it, okay, just like this. Perfect. And then we're going to do a water brush. I'm going to color it. Okay, not on my water brush. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply just a little bit of glue and I'm going to stick that word down. Just like that. And if you want to, you can outline it if it blends in too much, but that's how it looks. Isn't that pretty? And I really wanted these to have dimension, okay? So I'm going to kind of scoop this stuff over and let's make our dangles. So what I have here is just a selection of charms and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to be using 22 gauge wire to make the little dangle, and I get that I get two kinds of wire. So I use my jewelry wire for things that are going to touch people's skins, like earrings and that kind of stuff. But I use this wire, um, which you can get at the hardware store, for things that aren't going to touch skin. So this is just going to be a dangle that I'm going to hang up in my house or whatever. So I don't have to worry about it being tarnished or someone um, having an allergic reaction to it or anything like that. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut off a length, maybe about two inches. Two lengths here. Very cool. Okay. And I just have round nose, flat nose pliers, all my pliers out. Okay, just to let you know here. I'm going to switch to smaller ones. Okay. So, and I just have a selection of beads here. So we're just going to take it and we're going to do a 90 degree angle. So I just fold it over like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers. And I'm going to go to the very tip and I'm going to roll it over and make a loop. Oops. Oh, 
just like that. It's not perfect loop. My loops are never perfect, I and mean, I'm okay with that. <laughs> but that's the way it looks, okay? And then we are going to add some beads. Actually, you know what? I think we'll start with this pretty green one. Let's see if I have any green beads in here. That's pretty, but it's kind of large. Well, let's use a large one then. That'll be pretty, actually. Do I have one just a little bit smaller? No. That's okay, though. We'll work with what we got here. Okay, and I really do like that. That's pretty. Okay, but I think I'm just going to stick with the, the smaller ones. So these are like a greenish blue. You can't really tell, but they are. I promise. I would not deceive you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very good. So that's what it looks like so far, and I'm just going to keep adding stuff to it. just with those small little seed beads. And I think I got this pack of seed beads at Walmart because they're only a buck fifty there. If they haven't raised the price, hopefully they have it. So they're fun. You can do lots of things with them. I love seed beads. They're great fillers. Just like that. Okay. So I'm actually going to take off a few of those beads. Okay. Then we're going to make another loop. Okay, so we're going to go here, and I'm going to go right to where that last bead is, and I'm going to give it a fold, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my round nose pliers again, and I'm going to trim just a little bit. And you could even use, like, the handmade roses um, to decorate your altered piece. I mean, there's so many different things that you can use for embellishment, so definitely be open. I'm sure you have something around your house. So that's going to hang like that and we're going to add a jump ring. Now these are larger jump rings because I need a lot of room. <laughs> okay. And I think that I'm going to add, ooh I kind of like, do I like the butterfly? Ooh I like the heart. Okay so we're going to add the heart. So I'm going to take it and open it up. And I will link that live show below if you're curious and you want to see the live show. Um, it was just, I mean, you're not missing much. I'm showing you everything that I did in that tutorial on this one. So, And this one's a little bit easier to follow because <laughs> it was my first time making them. So normally I make like a little, a little practice one off camera so I know kind of what's going on, except for my canvases, I just kind of go for it, so, in some projects I just do it, but, good, so I put on my jump ring there, okay, and I'm going to add my little dangle there, okay, and all I did was just add the charm at that other loop, okay, take it and, and I've showed you guys how to work with jump rings before, so hopefully you know how to do that, but isn't that cool? So that's my little dangle. Isn't that fun? Very cool. Now if you wanted to be really cool, or really spiffy as I'd like to say, you could add um, chain, which would be fun. So I got this necklace at a yard sale for 25 cents. Um, it's just really cheap wire. Um, but sometimes I just like to buy little cheap costume jewelry because you can add it to things like this. Okay, take that. Alrighty, and we can just kind of put that in half. And this might be too big, this jump ring, to, for it to go through, but we'll see if we can make it work here. This is just something that I thought of a few minutes ago, so we'll see if it works. <laughs> it's worth a try. You have to see if things work, don't you? Oops, that's, um, that's the end that I cut off. And I think it's going to be too narrow. Yeah. So the wire's just a little too narrow. 
it needs to be a little bit thicker, but you get the point. If you wanted to, you just take your jump ring and just do that. But actually, if I wanted to, I could just, yeah. We need a skittier jump ring that isn't so thick. But I can probably put it on this little loop. I'm going to try to do it, guys. There's this one little link that is being kind of stubborn, just a little bit. So we're going to cut it off and go try another one. And I just think that it's just too small, but yeah, I think it is. Okay guys, so that's not going to work, but imagine that you could dangle it off like that too, if you wanted to add more chain. So just like that. So. I think I'm going to stop it there. Um, you guys have, this video is long enough, <laughs> but I would just do the same thing here. So just, I have this little piece of wire, I would just, you know, do that on, and then I would just add a little charm at the end, okay? But they're super fun to make, and they're so pretty, and they turn out so great, and I just love them. I am going to ink around the edges of this one um, after that heart dries, but they're really fun. And you can make your dangles as long as you want or as short. I put another hole here because I may make it into a necklace or something else. And this one says believe. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please like and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any of my fabulous videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.